We are talking city health here with Dr. Al Usby, who is an endocrinologist with Olive Fertility Center. And uh, boy, you've got 43 years in this business. I have so many questions for you. Many of our viewers know I have gone through uh, fertility treatments, had a couple of years of it. IVF had Brady successfully at 40. Uh, it was difficult though. People don't understand how difficult. I did not have leftover embryos, but in the case of Sofia Vergara and her now ex-fiance, they have two. What legally would happen in Canada in this situation? Well, uh, embryos are considered the property of the individuals who made it. And so the, the partners own that embryo together or those embryos together. And no one knows what the future holds, uh, whether the marriage will stay together or the relationship or whether one partner will die. So anyone who is freezing uh, reproductive material, whether it's sperm, whether it's eggs, whether it's embryos, should have some form of arrangement, a legal arrangement, so that it's quite well defined who owns those in case of marriage breakup, who owns uh, them in case of uh, death of one of the partners, and so this it could solves be, a lot of problems. This could be precedent setting if this goes to court yes, between the absolutely. two of them. Yes, um, absolutely. What are the biggest mistakes uh, for those who are waiting to have babies? What are the biggest mistakes they make? Well, waiting is good if you have to wait. A lot of women don't want to have a child uh, as a single uh, woman. Uh, they want to find Mr. Right, uh, if there is such a thing. They want to uh, establish their uh, career. They want to finish their education. Unfortunately, uh, nature doesn't wait for our social issues. And so women's fertility declines, and it declines significantly, especially after they get to 35 and precipitously after they get to 38 or 39. So women can delay their childbearing, but they need to make the choice and they need to make an informed choice. So freezing eggs sounds so simple. What's involved with freezing eggs? Freezing eggs, a woman has to, this is a new concept of preserving fertility. And so uh, a woman uh, can freeze her eggs, but she has to do in vitro fertilization to Which do involves that. Which daily involves cycle monitoring drugs uh, to make the eggs grow, monitoring of the response, and then removal of the eggs when they're uh, mature. Right. And then the eggs are frozen. The difference is that one then looks upon these as an insurance policy for future fertility, but they're not an insurance policy because if you buy insurance for your car and you get in an accident, it, you get your car fixed. If you buy life insurance and you die, your beneficiary gets the, the uh, proceeds. If you freeze eggs, there's no guarantee that they'll produce a pregnancy. So the question is, how many eggs does one need to freeze? Uh, and uh, even then, you don't know uh, whether you'll be able to produce a pregnancy. I know of one particular case of a woman who froze over 20 eggs, this was not in Vancouver, uh, and did not have a pregnancy as a result of that. And she was 24 years old when she froze them. So, so there's no, no guarantee. And there's no guarantees that after 36, 37, 38, that you couldn't conceive naturally. That's the other issue. If a woman may find that Mr. Right and uh, not even need to use those embryos and then they're or those eggs and then they're going to be sitting there in the in the uh, freezer and then some disposition of those needs to be made. How has Hollywood impacted your business? 43 years of doing Hollywood this. Hollywood has not been uh, good for our business. Uh, I don't like to think of it as a business, first of all, right, it's for enough. our field. Yes. Uh, it has not been friendly because the majority of these famous women, uh, these starlets, the wives of uh, movie stars, are having babies that probably are not using their own eggs. Women don't get pregnant easily at 47. No. And the miscarriage risk is higher than 50% if they do get pregnant at 45. What should uh, prospective hopeful parents budget for fertility treatment if they are in the latter stages or that, that window that you mentioned of lower ability to uh, conceive? You're talking about financial Yeah, budget. just in the ballpark. What well, we, we have new technologies now that have changed things significantly and there's research being done now that is, uh, we're tr there's research which is looking at being able to rejuvenate eggs. And that if is, that happens, things are going to change significantly. That's actually pumping up that perhaps later in life woman's own 
eggs well, to... Well, it, it, in some cases, it's taking the genetics, the, the nucleus of her egg, and putting it in the uh, egg without the nucleus of, of in a, a younger woman. Making so that maybe you're more passing viable. on this, this woman's own genetics, but you're putting it into a whole new container. Unbelievable. Dr. USP, you've got an event coming up in Surrey. It's a, a free event if you want to talk about what your options might be if you have questions about this. It's absolutely free. It's Tuesday, 6.30, Surrey City Centre Library. You need to go to accubalance.ca to register for this. Dr. Al Yuspi, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Julie. I could talk to you for an hour.